Hello! And welcome to the Cameron and Tia Show. Today, this is one for the newer clients. This is how to get your first paying clients this week. That's right, y'all. So let's break it down. I've got some actionable tips. We're gonna check them off and then boom, bang, by the end of the week, you are going to have a client. Heck yes, let's do this thing. Hi, I'm Cameron. And I'm Tia. We're so excited that you're here. Let's jump right into the video. First step, do a free shoot right now get it set up for tomorrow heck yes let's go um decide what type of session you want to have so if it's a couple session if it's a senior session if it's a friend session um decide what type of paying session you want to try to get so if you want to try to get a couple's paying session then you're going to find a couple right now aka your sister and her boyfriend aka your neighbor aka your friends from college and you're going to ask them hey can i give you a free shoot it'll be chill it'll be fast it'll be just like a 20 minute quick shoot where something generally is like this can we meet tomorrow night at seven right before sunset perfect that's all you need step number one step number two Knock that shoot out of the park, of course, but you're gonna nail that. Um, make sure that it's consistent with your editing style. Make sure that you've got a plan for posing. Make sure that you've looked up sunset and make sure that you know exactly what type of lighting you want. If you're going to a brand new location, go scout that thing. Don't show up blind. Um, make sure that that session is knocked out of the park so that it is a great representation of your work and it is ready to go. Step number three, post it everywhere. Do not wait to launch. I hear people saying like, oh, I'm gonna launch my business in like three months when I'm like ready. I don't know what that means. Does that mean like you're waiting to make an official like Instagram or make an official Facebook page or something? Does that mean um, you're waiting to register your business? Well, you've already done that because you've watched our videos, which is 12 steps to starting your photography business. It's up above if you need it. Um, but make sure to just launch it right now and then go post it. I don't know what this like waiting to launch is. So sorry, that's my tea. But post it literally everywhere. If you don't have a business photography account yet, I don't care. Post it on your personal. Post it on your personal Facebook. Post it on the mommy group for your neighborhood. Post it on the next door app. Post it on the high school near you's Facebook group, Facebook page, literally everywhere. What is the harm in that? Figure out what your pricing is going to be. Figure out what's reasonable, um, but make it a good deal. It doesn't need to be this super high-end experience yet. It can just be base level, you get it done. If you wanna make this happen, let's do it. Um, so that's step number three. Step number four, create a free website. Dedicate a day to this, dedicate a good chunk of time where you can sit down and get on a free platform. If you don't have anything yet, you need to get on Wix, for example, is free, has some awesome templates, and just get it started, get it established for you. Um, all you need there is some examples of your work, which you just did that free session, so plaster it everywhere. Um, then a contact form so that they can fill it out, put your pricing right on there so that they know what happens, and make it easy for them. They literally check out your portfolio, which has those images, and then it says fill out this contact form don't make them jump through hurdles by filling out all kinds of extra things have them just then fill out their name their phone number their email address and have a message so that you can generally get to know them get to know what's a good fit for them then make sure that your pricing is clearly listed um, nothing is flexible or customizable I think that people make this mistake in the get-go that they're like, oh, I can customize a package to you. People don't want that. You think they do. You think you're like, oh, I'm being flexible. That's really, really good. But if someone comes to your website and honestly they want a cheap shoot, they just want to know, I pay $150 and I get 40 images. Good. That's great. That works for me. The less options, the more clear it is. People have trouble making choices when there are lots of options. So make sure pricing is very clear. There's nothing customizable. There's nothing flexible about it. This is the pricing. And then people know that's what people pay for this. Okay, I see these photos here. That's probably what those people paid for that. Great. Good to go. Um, make sure that there are no roadblocks to booking. Make it easy. Make paying for the session really easy, whether um, you're using some sort of system like HoneyBook. If you have questions about HoneyBook, I'm going to drop the link below. I've also got a YouTube video about HoneyBook that you can check out if that makes sense, if that's a good fit for you, if you're diving in head first. Or make it really easy for them to pay you before the session or at the session, whatever that may be. Again, we're just trying to get one paying client this week. Nothing fancy about it, no roadblocks. Um, then the last thing is keep posting and spreading the word until someone reaches out. That's it. 
Easy as that. There's nothing complicated. You don't need to keep doing free shoots. Well, that would help. That would build the portfolio. And then people come to your site and they see, oh, wow, they've done this and a little this, a little that. They must be experienced. That might be a good fit for me. So yeah, that helps. But I say that one session that you did that was free with your college roommates, keep posting it literally everywhere over and over and be persistent. Keep finding those sources to post it. Keep finding those Facebook groups or those neighborhood groups. And that's it. Y'all, we just broke that down. That's all I've got for you. If you do these steps, you can get a paying client this week. I swear. Um, all you have to do is be persistent about it and not give up and um, make sure that you keep putting that out there. So there's some quick, easy steps. If you want to dive more into photography, if you're looking to make this a legit business, make this thing happen, obviously check out that video I talked about earlier above those 12 steps to getting into photography, but then come join our Facebook group. I'll have it linked down below for you. Um, it's for photographers. We've got a lot of new photographers in there who are just navigating the ropes, just figuring out if this is a good fit for them and how they can make this a business or make this a career even. So I'd love to see you in there. If you have any questions, drop them below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and until next time, bye!